Hello and welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. I'm doing something a little bit different with my November kit from Hedgehog Hollow. Remember I told you it was two stamp sets in there. One of them was kind of Christmas themed and one of them was general. This is the general one that I'm using today. And when I saw it, I immediately thought this family just went and bought a new dog. That's exactly what I thought uh, as soon as I saw it, whether it was from the pet store, whether it was from the Humane Society, adopted a dog, doesn't matter. I know that this family went and got a new dog. So I stamped some of the images on some Nina Solar White and I ran it through on a pick scan mat and my silhouette so I could cut them out. But I'm also going to use the My Favorite Things uh, new, friend, new Best Friend stamp set for the sentiments and then also that coffee shop die set from My Favorite Things to build a background for this. Um, and the reason I'm doing all these different things on this card is because this stamp set is so versatile. I can use it with so many things. They are so stinking cute. So I cut these out, like I said, using my pick scan mat. And the reason I left this part in is because the pick scan mat has a lot less stick to it than the regular mats do. So always keep it covered when you're not using it or it will get lint and hair and everything else all over it. So keep it closed up when you're not using it. Save that really heavy duty film and keep it over that uh, sticky area on that. So as you can see, I have all of my little images cut out. Now I'm going to do some really basic Copic coloring. And this is the, the typical basic coloring of the same colors I typically always use. And that's the E04, E11, E21, E00, and E00. Um, and I finally am just now as much as Copic coloring as I do. And yeah, I go for a long, I've gone for a while now and haven't been Copic coloring all that much. But I'm starting to have to refill my markers a whole lot. And I have several nibs that need to be replaced too. So I will be doing a video uh, in the not too distant future. Probably after Christmas actually. Um, after things kind of calm down with retail sales. And uh, everybody gets through Christmas holidays. I'll try to do a video on uh, refilling your Copic markers. And not making a mess when you do it. That's the big thing. And then as I'm doing this, I'm just going to talk a little bit about life in general and how it's going. Um, most of y'all know that I have been through a rough patch over the past couple months and things are getting better. I am working in retail um, in a full-time position. And thankfully, my job is pretty, the hours are pretty consistent, but it's getting ready to get crazy because, of course, it's Christmas and everybody's flipping out because there's fewer days between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So it's, oh, let's work, 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 work. And you know me, I'm, I'm a hard worker and I like to go and work, but oh my goodness, I think they're trying to kill me, but that's okay. It's good, honest work, and I won't say that it's what I really want to do because this is what I really want to do. I want to make cards for y'all and share how to do it and, and um, share videos and, and talk to my crafty friends during the day and, and even in the evenings and um, make videos and teach y'all how to do whatever y'all, whatever it is y'all want to know more about and, and that kind of thing. And that's where my heart really is. And that's what I want to continue to do. And I'm still pushing towards that goal of being at home again full time to um, build out some classes and uh, really work towards doing those kinds of things again. It's just really hard when you come home and your hands hurt so bad that you can't really move them all that well in the evenings, which is why my Copic coloring has kind of suffered because my hands hurt. So that's just kind of where life is a little bit right now while I am Copic coloring these little guys and um oh I do have some really really good news though um with this new job has it comes better health insurance than I've had in many many years even with my other full-time job that it's still better insurance because it will actually cover migraine medication that works for me so I am no longer no longer suffering for days on end with migraines that is just completely and utterly awesome so i'm very excited about that now i do know that sometimes migraine medications can just stop working altogether. so 
I'm continuing to pray that it continues to work and I'm very, very happy with what I have right now and it's working very, very well for me. So, um, I'm sorry if you hear dog barking in the background. It's outside and I have no idea where that dog is. Anyway, so I'm going to finish up doing some Copic coloring. I did match the little boy and his dad in blues and I'm matching the, the mom and the little girl in pinks and I'm gonna uh, have a little dog there and I don't think I show in the video all of me putting together the the cafe pieces from the um from my favorite things uh, just because that's not what we're focusing on on this video we're we're working on the little images here from the Laura Kelly release over at the Hedgehog Hollow for the November monthly kit and <laughs> This one and the Santa Claus, and I can't wait for you to see the next, my next card video, because this card and the, uh, the, my next card is so easy, so cute. It will make you want to buy it just for this one little stamp in it alone and see this card. It is so amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, so Copic color these up really quick and let's count how many times I actually said let's Copic color something in this video because it might be a record for this today. Woohoo! Uh, I do have a water leak still that I'm battling in the basement um, from the washing machine. Bummer! And I'm having to replace some stuff on that and on the like the fixtures or the faucets or the valves or something. It's the water valves I think is what you call it. I had to, I'm having to have that replaced this week. Fun is having being had by all kinds of things that contain water and can ruin all kinds of stuff. Just all kinds of fun. I pulled out all kinds of patterned paper for this from some random packs of patterned paper. I think some of this is probably from Echo Park that's several years old that I found, in, you know, on in, in clearance somewhere kind of thing. Um... I'm really bad about doing that, finding something on clearance and picking it up and, and continuing to use it. And I'm sure y'all do the exact same thing and there's no reason for you not to. Just if you really like the paper that I, um, I have, you can email me or drop me a message over on Facebook and I'll let you know what it is. But I can promise you it's probably been discontinued. And I think I found this at some discount retail store somewhere along the lines. And it's just what I'm using for this because I have it. And... You know, I, I'm a firm believer in using what you have instead of buying new constantly for different things. Yeah, if you see something you think you're going to love it and you continue to use it and use it and use it and use it, buy it. Absolutely buy it. But if it's just because it's new and you, it, don't get something just because it's new. How about that? Let's go with that. All right. So I'm going to trim some stuff down here. I'm just trimming off the white edges of my paper there. And now we're going to build our scene. And I had, I, well, you can see I Copic colored this. I cut all of the, the um, little cafe thing out of white, Nina Solar white cardstock. And then I Copic colored everything. And I'm just going to build my little scene here. And I did stamp um, the smaller doggy and the smaller kitty cat in the window here. And so it looks like they're sitting in the window saying bye to their new, their, their friend that's leaving them. And I have to have a red door. And I'm just going to build this out. It is so super cute. I just absolutely love this. Nice little family scene here that's something different. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Of course, there are the Christmas sets that go, the Christmas set that goes with this. And it has like the little um, mittens and, is it mittens? No, it's a Santa hat, I think, you can put on the the uh, the family there. And absolutely adorable, adorable, adorable. And I'm going to play a little bit of music while I finish putting this together because this is literally just me gluing pieces down on my scene here. I did, I take that back. It's not glue, gluing everything down because I popped some of these up with some foam tape so they had a little dimension to them um, across the front of it so it wasn't just flat. But I also want you to see how I kind of play with things like usual, play with things a little bit and get them placed where I really like them and where I want them. Figure out how, where I want to put the sentiment 
And I did something that not many people will do. And I'm not going to play music now because I'm going to continue to talk because I forgot about this. <laughs> um, a lot of people are terrified of black embossing powder. I am not one of those people. I like black embossing powder. If I'm going to have a, you know, most of the time you'll see that uh, VersaFine ink is used in clear embossing powder. I like black embossing powder. Uh, why am I going to, you know, I, I just like black embossing powder. It stands up beautifully. And as long as you use your anti-static powder tool, it does not stick to everything. It does not show up stray everywhere. One that does is red. Red gets everywhere. Black does not. I mean, a lot of people don't like it, but I really do like black embossing powder. Um, I think it gives a much crisper image than doing VersaFine Onyx Black ink and embossing it with clear embossing powder. I think it just, it, it looks much better. It looks much blacker, and that's because it is. Um, so don't be terrified of black embossing powder. Use your anti-static powder tool, but use it liberally, no matter which kind you're, you're using. Just be sure that you use it very liberally as you do use it. Um, so I'm popping up all of my little people here. And then our card will be almost finished. I also add a little bit of Wink of Stella. Um, towards the end after I add my sentiment and I just put my sentiment on a little rectangle and adhere it towards the top of the card there. But this stamp set can be used in so many different ways, not just for Christmas. And look how well it goes with all of with your existing stamps that and and um die sets that you may already have. So you can get a ton of use out of this particular stamp set. And I absolutely think it's, I, I just can't get enough of it. It's so, so cute. It's really adorable. Um, and pardon my head, it's in the way so I can line it up. As you know, I like to line up my little, my sentiments over here on my block, do some anti-static powder tool, some Versamark ink, and then I'm going to stamp this towards the bottom and use that black embossing powder. And I think it's um, ink a dink a do, maybe? No. Ink on three? No. I'll list it below. I don't remember which brand it is. Um, make sure that your heat tool is getting really, really hot. And I want to say something about melting embossing powder as well. Um, make sure that you're actually melting it all the way. Um, I know that sounds kind of weird, but when you melt embossing powder, it kind of goes through a couple of different stages. It goes through that sticking to the paper, and then it kind of goes through that it looks rough and it's melted, but not quite. And then it goes to that smooth melty. So make sure that you are doing the smooth melty and uh, when you are um, melting uh, your embossing powder and setting it on your card there. So here is our finished card almost. I hope you have enjoyed our best new friend card here using the card kit stamp set by Laura, designed by Laura Kelly for the Hedgehog Hollow for this month. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Or you can email me at Jill Cameron Creations. Excuse me, Jill at Jill Cameron Creations .com, Or you can drop me a message over on Facebook. You can also hit us up over on the Hedgehog Hollow Facebook page and on the blog and all kinds of places. Again, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to hit subscribe and have a great one.